Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to be doing a breakdown of one of my most recent um, Blender scenes. Um, and so this is the final render here, which has been edited in Photoshop, but it's pretty minor editing. So let's get into the Blender scene. Um, so all of this has been modeled in Blender, um, not using any CAD software. Um, using a majority of Quixel assets as well as um, Polygon assets um, and uh, a few items from the Blender marketplace um, so I will do a little breakdown of the materials alrighty so the main interior materials that we used were um, the rammed earth material for the walls um, and the timber material for the ceiling um, and just a simple concrete material for the for the slab um, the rammed earth material was uh, material from polygon um, and i did a fair bit of work on um, brightening it up and adding a little bit more reflectiveness um, yeah, so that's that's the rammed earth material, and then the um, timber uh, the timber veneer that I used on the ceiling is um, is the veneer walnut random matched, and I found this one's really good to get a bit of variation, um, but it doesn't show tiling too too obviously, which is what I was after. And yeah, the concrete is a pretty simple concrete um, material. Um, I found this one's really good because um, it had quite a dark albedo, so it um, kind of created that vibe that I was after. And that one's also from Polygon. Um, I've only recently started using Polygon for materials and um, models, and I've found it's pretty pretty impressive um, a pretty important aspect of this project was the HDRI that I used um, specifically for the the exterior render that I did uh, which is this one here um, I find when you use a good quality HDRI for your lighting um, it also provides the environment um, kind of background that just helps to add a lot of detail that would be borderline impossible um, unless you had a heap of RAM so with this external shot um, if I go back to the render where I cropped it in I added a heap of detail but you can kind of see everywhere outside of this is like just desolate um, and that's a really important aspect of when I do renders um, quite often they um, they're only highly detailed in areas where I have kind of um, decided that I'll um, do a render in that view um, and that just helps to uh, reduce the amount of time it takes to produce a render um, in terms of the the design it was a pretty pretty um, pretty fun design to work on um, mostly brick um, with perforations indoor plants um, yeah it's um, I think a really interesting aspect of rendering is creating a design that's interesting um, and if your design isn't interesting then the render is going to suffer so I think if you spend the time on the design um, it's worth it because when you render it um, well the render gets lifted up by the design um, in the same way that the design would get lifted up with good lighting and good composition so spending the time on the design is really important um, yeah but the HDRA that I used um, is 
abandoned hopper terminal 04 and that's available on HDR, HDRI Haven um, and then a lot of the plants like the in, internal uh, interior plants are on Polygon um, um, and these external plants uh, that I have along this wall are all mega scans so I find Polygon's really good for internal finishing um, and mega scans is amazing for all the external planting um, the outside some of the outside plants as well were from a New Zealand plant pack which um, is where I'm from so I wanted to find some plants that represented the local flora um, and this flax bush is one of my favorites um, I think that's from globe plants there's like a New Zealand pack um, so yeah kind of a breakdown of the lighting is just a really simple HDRI um, you know strength on one and the settings was just exposure of two depends on what what HDRI use um, and I've just got it on medium high contrast um, and a, quite a lot of work was done in um, Photoshop just in terms of color and lighting so um, I'll do a bit of a breakdown on both of my renders um, my internal render and the external render um, now in Photoshop for the first internal render um, I used camera or filter in Photoshop I find it's a great tool um, which is basically the same as using Photoshop Lightroom um, but it means that you get to create a filter um, and then do additional work just using Photoshop normally if you need to um, instead of having to deal with Lightroom's UI and bringing it across to Photoshop um, if I do a before and after says it yep uh, yep so if I do a before and after you can see um, the kind of work that was done um, it was mostly just white balance and colors um, and sharpening um, pretty basic work so if I turn off the color mixer and turn it back on you can see it's a pretty drastic change um, the HDRI made it quite yellow um, the scene overall so I kind of because the style that I was going for is quite neutral I really wanted to tone down the the colors and turn it a little bit to kind of a more of a bluer tint um, and then if I turn the curve adjustment on and off it's a pretty simple shirt curve just to add a bit of um, contrast and then just the basic panel a fair bit of work obviously just to um, kind of reduce the contrast a little bit um, and make it a little bit more relaxed um, yeah so that's uh, that's kind of before and after I think when you edit a render it really adds a lot and it's pretty important in my opinion so with the exterior scene there was a little bit more work that went into it um, so when I was starting out with if I turn these adjustments off real quick and then I turn the camera raw filter off so this was the raw render and it looks okay but it's it's not nearly finished um, so that's with the camera raw filter on and off which was much the same process um, and then with the additional um, kind of adjustments you can see um, particularly in the of this um, the selected color work was pretty important um, I also kind of reduced the the brightness of this brick wall just to allow it to blend a little bit more um, and then just a pretty basic vignette so yeah that's a breakdown of the um, curved brick wall project I uh, hope you liked it cheers